Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Dave and welcome back in Pattern Graph. So guys, Flow3D has recently provided his new update 7.2 and in this new update they had provided some new features and one of the most demanding feature is camera movement. So I'm going to provide you a small tutorial how you can use that new feature. So let's get started. I had already imported my uh, uh, already created garment so before start you need to decide uh, which size you want to create so we can see the preview while we are adjusting the camera so I want to create a, a animation in A4 size okay animation I had already created we will just going to add some camera motion camera movements in this animation well, let me show you the animation it's a simple walk animation so we will give some camera movements for this animation so let's get started I will pause this uh, okay before started first first we need to adjust the size in which size we want to create the render or create our video so we had already selected the size now what we what you need to do just first these uh, first I, I will explain you these new uh, new options then we will move to the forward this option basically used for the keyframes add replace camera keyframes using this key, uh, this option we will add uh, camera uh, camera keyframes this option basically used for the viewport camera viewport and this will activate after adding uh, one keyframe and this option is basically used to show or hide the camera so these are the new options okay so let's get started let, let me add first keyframe in the beginning of the video after adding you can active the viewport okay this is the camera we can add movement in this camera okay what we need to do first you need to add one keyframe in the beginning of the video and other keyframe depends on the uh, your animation so what for this simple walk animation what I will do I also want to add one keyframe here okay first let, let me adjust the first keyframe point because if you see how it's look like we don't want to look like uh, we don't want our model uh, look so far so let me adjust it so this is the camera okay and this is the point we can uh, adjust this point by dragging or we can also use the shortcuts just drag in the center of the model and now we will move the camera just close let me so this is the first keyframe okay now what I want now I will add another keyframe in this this point right now what I am doing I am just creating some main key points key keyframe key points so 
between these keyframe points we will adjust our other keyframes okay. right now how it look like let me show you so in this in this point it's going outside let me adjust the point okay You can see how we are adjusting the key points and our camera movement. After what I'm going to do in this point, uh, I will rotate the camera. can see the motion now I will add a close up in this point that close up this point over to the face Let me show you again how it will move. Then again in this portion, turn Now we will track the model from the side view. So this is what we will do. We just simply track the model. So we can go that side.
you just need to follow the simple these simple steps so you can create a fantastic camera motion camera movement okay is the point. So, our camera movement is done. Let me show you how it looks. So in camera view window you can uh, check how our video will look like after the camera movement. Let me do it fast forward. So in this point we need to adjust the camera. Okay. In this point we need to adjust the camera. Also need to adjust so let me create a video okay animation Our video is done. Let me show you. How it look like? It's too fast. So we can let me save first. Let me save the video on desktop. this is the uh, camera movement we had created using our new feature i hope you like this video and if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye